everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. This video is Elma's three weeks of empties, July 9th through the 29th. So let's get started. Um, I have, of course, um, some weeks I don't really have quite enough to do an empties video. And frankly, I wanted to record this last weekend, uh, but my husband came home from his camping trip a day early and it kind of messed up my filming schedule. And here it is Wednesday and I really haven't had time I went to the office yesterday and then today I, um, well, last night when I came home, I had intentions of, uh, filming a couple, but I really got a bad headache and we started watching 1883. And by the time I looked at the clock, it was 930 and I said, hell, I'm not going to start to film then. People will think I'm drunk or something all flabbergasted and <laughs> at a loss for words and just, you know, uh, tired. So here I am today. Today's Wednesday. Happy August. August 2nd. I can't believe it. August 2nd. Uh, school starts this month for a lot of people. My parents' birthdays are both this month. My mother-in-law's birthday is this month. And my father-in-law, actually. He is deceased. But his birthday is this month, too. Um, August. Um, yeah. Here we are. End of summer. So uh, I have a lot of mentees to talk about here. I have my basket here. My neat little basket. I've t thought about getting another basket for my empties, but I think this suits just fine. So I'm going to dump and go. I have been working on a lot of um, odds and ends pieces in my collection. And in fact, um, I'm going to start, I'm going to be starting a new uh, series on my channel. Um, since this is my empties video, it kind of isn't a you know, vendor theme video or anything like that. So I'm, I'm going to starting, be, um, starting to do, um, wax goals and, uh, August wax goals. I'm going to be filming that movie, not movie, that video here today or tomorrow. Um, and what each episode is going to be is what I hope to get through and melt that month. So what I'm going to be doing for this month is odds and ends pieces. I have a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Stuff that I really want to challenge myself to use and to get through so I can make a bigger dent in my collection. But that is to come. Let's go ahead and get into this yummy stuff. I, as always, I have a lot of L3 that I talk about because I do melt L3 about every day of my life. But I do have a lot of other vendors in here. So it should be, this should be a good video. So here we go. We'll kick it off with Super Tarts. Happy birthday. This one is buttercream, strawberry, and birthday cake. Now, Super Tarts, you know, owned by Brandy and Brady Williams in Squim, Washington. Uh, as you know, if you do follow or used to be in or in Super Tarts Facebook group, um, they've changed their business model. Um, Brady has a full-time job now, so Brandy is pouring in her spare time and is, you know, going through a little bit of growing pains with their new business structure. Uh, these clams I purchased probably last year. I don't really remember. Some, uh, I try to mark the date on most of my wax and some of them just, you know, get into my collection without having a date marked on them. But just trying to remember, this is from last year. Um, this is basically, it's a strawberry bakery. Personally, my husband thought this smelled weird. Uh, I didn't get that weird note, but of course, um, he told me he didn't like it. And then uh, when he went out of town and, uh, you know, when he went camping, I took the opportunity to finish melting through this so I didn't, you know, offend his nose when he's here. So um, this one, if the name has changed... I don't know what the new name is, you know, for trademark purposes and legal purposes and such. A lot of vendors, you know, especially Super Tarts, went through a big um, re-naming uh, of a lot of their a lot of their name a lot of their um, blend names. And I know Julie from Sassy Girl Aroma did the same thing. Um, this one here is a one and done for me, just because one, I don't want to keep buying something if my husband doesn't care for it, and two, it was just not that special to me, honestly. Um, over the last year. Um, I've only purchased from Super Tarts a handful of times. I don't know, maybe counting Wax Wednesdays and Advent calendars, a little bit of ready to ships here and there. I mean, maybe, maybe eight to ten times I've purchased from Super Tarts, maybe a little bit more. Um, I... I frankly think that their wax isn't throwing and performing as well as it has in the past. That being said, I did buy a lot of fake and bake. 
Fake and Bake is by far my favorite blend from Super Tarts, and it is one of my favorite blends in all vendors across the board of all the wax that's out there. Fake and Bake, of course, being zucchini bread, sugar cookies, and um, a sweet cream. Yes, it's a fantastic blend. I have it in the perfume. The perfume is fantastic, and if you have an opportunity, I don't know when. I do not know when Fake and Bake will be offered again because Brandy's ready to ships are going to be few and far between, pre-orders even less than that. So um, kind of get super tarts when you can. That's just my opinion. And um, I know there are a few people out there who are leaving the group because of just some of the, some of the chaos seems and the delay and ready to ship uh, tats and uh, just, you know, the availability is going to be getting very hard. So I haven't decided if I am leaving Super Tarts Group or not. Um, we'll see. Next, this is Southbound. Southbound. This was a sample I got in actually uh, the recent Round Robin boxes. If you were following along with the uh, Round Robin that Erica Kane from Second and Spruce started back in June. Um, I was the recipient last week. I mailed my box out to Martha in California, and Martha, I don't remember whose name she drew uh, for the next box recipient, but that's in the mail. So, Fright Night. This is melon, citrus, sandalwood, and cedar. I popped this in my spare uh, bathroom in the tea light warmer, and you know what this is, guys? This is Breath of God from Lush. That's what this is. Why I know that is I... Um, I've smelled this before, and it's the Riverwoods from Teddy Bees, although Teddy Bees blend is blended with a little bit of Palo Santo, but the base of this is Breath of God. This, I don't think this is blended with anything, because Breath of God notes is melon, citrus, sandalwood, and cedar. That's Breath of God. It's fantastic. I love it. It's clean. It's outdoorsy. It's like a fresh showered man, but not cologne. That is how I describe it. I love things with cedar. That's why I kept this from the round robin box. I like that. Next, I finished up a couple of scoops. You should be proud of me that I finished up some scoops. This first one is, if you're in the L3 group, I've posted about this baby a lot. This is fresh picked strawberries, vanilla butter fudge, vanilla bee Noel, and vanilla cookies. I love, 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 love this blend. If you like fresh picked strawberries, try this guy right here. This is fresh picked strawberries with creamy vanilla, creamy cookies. It's vanilla bakery, excuse me, strawberry vanilla bakery, sorry. Um, this is one I would buy again in a scoop. I think fresh picked strawberries is to me it's it's a it's not as heavy and strong as plain strawberry or strawberry jam, but fresh picked strawberries for me and my experience in my home and all that stuff, it performs better in a scoop. And I'm in love with scoops. If you've watched me for a while, you know how in love I am with scoops. Um I don't have any hairspray in my hair, so if my hair starts falling in my face, just it is what it is. Um, I feel like I need to say that because sometimes people, you know, look in the camera and touch their hair and do all that stuff, and I know that can be annoying to some people, so I'm trying consciously not to do that. Next is Lava Colada from L3. This was actually one that was offered in a couple of pre-orders ago when they did some scoops. Jen and Trish and team are working on their new uh, pre-order that's going to be their fall pre-order uh, here in the next week or so they should be announcing some some things on it um, so this one is strawberry daiquiri whipped cream cherry slushy and pina colada this one you know it's cherry dominant why I got this is because I'm not afraid of cherry cherry is scary to some people not me I like cherry stuff. Uh, this is, I didn't get too much of the daiquiri part of it. I get a little bit of the pina colada, which of course is pineapple and coconut cream. And then a little bit of creamy whipped cream, but this is mostly cherry slushy. This reminds me, it's almost a cousin of Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure from L3, which is cherry slushy, Mountain Dew, and blue raspberry, I think. So along, it's very, this is very cherry. You have to like cherry to like this, but it's a creamy cherry. This could be blended with a lot of things. This could be blended with, um, 
any other fruit. You can even blend this with bakery. If you like cherry bakery, you can blend it with more cream, zucchini bread, of course, just about anything out there. Um, I have been trying to reply back to a lot of comments on my videos from the past several months. I was working on that late last night. Um, and somebody did ask if I could talk more about shelf life for vendors. And I said, certainly that's a great idea. I try to, um, I, if I think about it, you know, this is a just a this is just a stream of consciousness sitting here and talking, you know, to you like you're right in front of me. So sometimes I want to say something, but I forget. And then when I watch this back, I'm like, oh, I wanted to talk about this or this or this. But I'm going to try to talk about shelf life. I've talked about shelf life with Destination Wax on my channel to me and Rose Girls. Also, I've talked a lot about because both of those vendors there for me especially their bakery blends, their heavy bakery blends, don't have the longest shelf life to me. Rose Girls can be between 9 to 10, maybe 12 months where the bakery just peters out badly for me. Um, not all, but when you have a coffee blend that you can't smell the coffee anymore after a year, that's pretty bad in my opinion. Um, Rose Girls Fresh, however, I have had luck with the fresh blends, the Speechless, uh, some of the Coastal Kale blends. I mean, Coastal Kale is in Speechless, but those are very, very, very strong oils. Her peppermint is strong, and there's a ton of other blends that Jenny has. And I, you know, I do like Jenny's wax, but I am finding I'm not reaching for it as much as I have in the past. And that honestly might be because if you've watched my channel, especially in the winter time, I was working on a Rose Girls melting tote where I really wanted to make a dent in my collection. And I really do still have a lot left. So I'm thinking about what I'm gonna be doing with that, whether I'm gonna part ways with it or if I'm gonna incorporate it and work into melting it, you know, from month to month. I'm not quite sure yet. Uh, and Destination Wax, same thing. Things last about 11 to 12 months, maybe some of her her pine some of her really really strong lemons will last a little bit longer than that and I mean that goes for rose rose girls too lemon does tend to last longer because lemon most lemon oils are very 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 strong unless she mixes it with a heavy bakery especially a heavy vanilla based bakery my my opinion and experience with it is it dies quicker shelf life wise I'm not talking about once you put it in your warmer um with L3 in L3 scoops, especially since I just finished talking about these, uh, I have a scoop. My very first scoop purchase was in February of 2021. My husband and I were at a casino and um, on a Friday, yeah, eh, when they do their sales on Fridays. And I had read so much about today is October 3rd and I wanted to buy some. So I bought three scoops. Today is October 3rd. That's a strong blend. But my point is I still have that. It's two and a half years old and that smells like it was just poured yesterday. These last a long time. I know there are many of you out there who are using scoops from 2018, 2019, and they're performing beautifully. I can attest that these have a long shelf life. So that's my spiel on shelf life for that product there. Let's keep going. I have K's. K's, um, this is Tinsel and Twinkle. This is a Christmas blend, I know, but I was in my overflow wax storage down in my, my husband's man cave in the basement, and I saw this and I thought, orange zest, grapefruit, cedar, fir needles, and spice. I've talked about how grapefruit is stinky to me. It's kind of in the same category as mango, um, unless grapefruit is blended very well. I think that this is a single oil. I like this grapefruit because it's mixed with a little bit more citrus. It has the orange. It has a little bit of pine. I can handle this. Grapefruit tends to do, it, it tends to turn a little B.O.E. to my nose. You know, B.O. body odor. That's what it smells like to me. And, and I can use grapefruit creams and lotions, and I can even use Neutrogena's grapefruit wash on my face. I used to use that when I was younger. 
I don't mind natural grapefruit, but it seems like the fragrance oils grapefruit are the ones that get stinky to me. This is a nice grapefruit blend. This is not an outright Christmas or holiday blend either. Yes, there's pine and yes, there's orange. And yes, those are traditionally blends and excuse me, oils that are put into holiday fragrances. But this has orange and it has grapefruit, which actually can be in you know, the rest of the year too. Even though oranges are in season in the winter time, um, it is a nice blend. This is refreshing. It would be good for, you know, springtime, even summertime. This would be nice in the middle of winter. I mean, this is a seasonless blend. And why I wanted to melt this is because I know I don't talk a lot about grapefruit because I struggle with grapefruit. Mango, I have talked about mango being funky to me. Mango having a, a weird stinky odor to me um, but I recently made my very first purchase with waxy taffy and the assistance of Catherine uh, she said that I have to try her mango cupcakes so she um, she meaning Christian I think her last name is Davis who owns waxy taffy she is has ex extended her pre-order until tomorrow it's her five year her five anniversary five year anniversary pre-order where she's offering her um, select 20 20 cents that she's offering um, at her 2018 her five year ago her prices and I thought that was a nice gesture uh, to all of us even though it was my first order she also is offering some customs and some bath and body products also in her pre-order so check it out if you haven't had an opportunity to um K's I have this I bought this in December oh and another thing about K's is um on Saturday the 5th uh, Carla and Connie are going to be having their annual 25% off sale for everything on their site, including customs, loaves and cuts and clams and all of those things. So check that out. I know a lot of us in the group are making our lists and I, I have not yet, but I will participate and buy a handful of things from Carla. I do like Carla a lot. Carla Meredith. Um, she's from, I think Missouri. I think it's Missouri. Okay. Um, Kay's, this was from, uh, December. Like I said, I do have some stuff from her from last summer that's just performing beautifully. So Kay's, they, um, she does have a good shelf life also. Um, this is Super Tarts Fake and Bake Twisted Peppermint. This was part of the recent Fake and Bake sampler. If you purchased that from Super Tarts, I personally love Twisted Peppermint. Twisted Peppermint is sweet peppermint. It's not as pepperminty or as creamy as at the North Pole, which I have floating around here somewhere from Sassy Girl Aroma. I do like this one. This is a little bit sweeter to me. Twisted Peppermint has a little bit more, not necessarily bakery sweetness to it, but it's got a little, a little bit more vanilla sugar to it. It's, of course, Twisted Peppermint, of course, is a Bath & Body Works um, oil, a Bath & Body Works item that is out at Christmas time. It's got a hell of a following. It's one of my favorite. I love, I love that scent. My old supervisor at work loves Twisted Peppermint, buys a ton every year, uses it throughout the year. It makes her happy. And I wish I was like that in that I can restrict myself to just one scent. Um, I'm not like that. But this I really liked. This was the shape of of, it was a little uh, looked like a um, a strudel or um, a a, ba a baked good item is what the shape was. I put the whole thing in my tea light warmer in my spare bathroom. This lasted all day long. I mean, twist of peppermint and fake and bake. If you think about it, fake and bake is that zucchini bread, sugar, cookies, and cream, um, sweet cream, and then you have your twist of peppermint, which is a uh, peppermint. Uh, sugar, a little bit of balsam, and I can't remember what else is in it, but this was good. If this was offered individually, I would buy this. I do like that blend, but I have a feeling that's not going to come back. Might as well talk about At the North Pole from Sassy Girl Aroma. This is sweet peppermint sticks with a creamy rich vanilla. I think this is one oil, I think. And some of the other vendors out there in the wax world have, have dipped their toes into the North Pole. Um, oils. This is nice. It is, why I wanted to use this up is because it is uh, from, it's a year and a half old. I'm trying to use older wax up. But why I wanted to, to finish this is because I was looking for a little bit of 
uh, peppermint bakery and I blended this I, I finished this brittle downstairs in my kitchen I, I had you know used half of it and then when I grabbed this out of my collection to finish using it I melted the rest of it down in my open concept in my kitchen living room dining room area so I I have this going uh, I would put the this one in one warmer I have two warmers down there and I could use another one in my living room area but poppy is just infiltrated in that area too much and I don't want her to hurt herself and I frankly don't want to clean up a mess so I just deal with the two warmers it's in my kitchen area and it's it suffices especially if you have a really strong one that throws like crazy like I have blueberry muffin zucchini bread down there now in a scoop and it's like it's fantastic I swear I gain 15 pounds every time I smell that blend it's great but back to this blend I have this going in one warmer and then a compliment scent in the other one I melted everything from the blueberry muffin zucchini bread I had the strawberry going I even got ex I got experimental and I put a laundry one with it and there really wasn't anything that was off-putting because it's peppermint and vanilla I mean that mixes peppermint blends with a lot of things too so you know get creative there are vendors out there that do clams they do little uh, try me packs you could even use um, this little six pack blenders from that smell good shop there's the trig tarts from l3 um, Julie uh, she doesn't really do a a lot of single oils she she has them you know from sassy girl thrown in her brittles and sometimes when she does a little the little bricks um those but most of the time i think she sticks to just you know regular blends of course she does have blueberry muffin and zucchini bread and those staples like that but those are so easy for people to blend with anyways i know why she offers them in a larger size and she's got incredible oils too so this one i would buy again i think i would want this in um Another brittle. This was perfect, actually. I really like that. I really like that shape. And in terms of shelf life for Sassy Girl, I have stuff that I purchased in 2021 that I have been using. I'm trying to use my older wax. I know I'm, I've said that a thousand times on here, but it's the truth. You buy it and enjoy it. Why let it sit? And uh, the wax is, is it's just like it was poured. So Sassy Girl does have a long shelf life, in my experience. Let's talk about Dessa. Dessa is owned by um, Dessa Bonner from Gilbert, Arizona. I saw somewhere she posted or commented um, that she might be moving uh, across the country to where her family is from. Uh, that might have been, I'm, I'm personal friends with her on Facebook. It might have been on her, her uh, personal page, but um, I hope she doesn't mind me saying that. She might be thinking about moving from Arizona. Uh, I bet the heat is getting to her. I don't know. I know that her daughter and her son-in-law and grandbabies live in Ohio, um, but uh, that's just, uh, so sorry if you're watching, Dessa. I, maybe you didn't want anybody to know that, but um I don't know when that's happening, of course. Maybe it was just something she was entertaining. But for now, she's from Gilbert, Arizona. So uh, Dessa's pre-order um, that she, her fall pre-order is all done, wrapped up. She's uh, packing everything and getting ready to ship those babies out in the next week or so. I think she said everything will be mailed out by the 15th, I think. I have a lot of numbers in my head all the time. I deal with numbers at work. So the 15th for Dessa is sticking out in my mind. So um, if I'm wrong, I'm sorry, but it, I know it's coming soon in the next few weeks. And then in September, she will have her primarily winter and holiday pre-order that has a lot of her Christmas scents, handful of fall, some staples that she always offers like sweet macerated strawberries and pirate voyage and um, lemonlicious and a lot of ones that are there just every single time. So let's talk about Dessa. We have Mystic Woods. This was one I got earlier this year. This is one of her newer blends. This is, um, excuse me, Circus Concession, Smoke Vanilla Woods, Cedar Wood, and Barn Wood Planks. Why I got this is I really, really, really like her uh, Circus Concession. It's that typical carnival stuff, and it's Carnival Month for a lot of a lot of people. And I know there are carnival uh, theme melting challenges going on, and melting baskets and all that stuff. This caramel apples, funnel cakes, cotton candy situations. This circus concession is a good oil. Dessa's oils are 
quality, high quality, long lasting, great oils in my opinion. She also has some of the most brilliant, vibrant colors and mica that she uses to color her, her creations. And especially her pink. Her pink is just vibrant, beautiful, neon, hot pink, Barbie pink, hot pink. It's great. So this one here, it's a little bit of that wood mixed with circus concession. I really like this, although I had a really hard time, my nose had a hard time picking out the vanilla woods and the barn planks and the cedar. I really, this was really just a, um, circus concession with a little bit of something in it, but my brain didn't identify it as wood. The next Dessa's that I want to talk about is Burnt Sugar Cake. This was a new blend of hers, and this is freaking fantastic. A plus, primo, grade A stuff right here. This is battery cake batter and burnt sugar frosting. Now this is simple. Brown sugar uh, brown, burnt sugar frosting, buttery cake batter, but it's good. It's like brown sugar pound cake, but it's a little bit buttery, more buttery. I can almost smell the warm cake with the brown sugar or the burnt sugar frosting. And it doesn't, when I say burnt sugar, it's, it's, caramelized sugar, but it's not burnt. There are some blends out there in the wax industry. The one I can think of the most that I've talked to a friend about is, um, oh, what is it called from Sassy Girl Aroma? Um, it's, 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 oh, I said that and now my mind's going blank, but it has a, it has a caramel corn or a caramel apple note in it. Um, and it, it can turn a little too caramelized, burn burnt sugar burnt caramel scent it's um sawdust days sawdust days from sassy girl aroma um it's not like that this is a little bit sweeter the the burnt sugar is a little bit su it's sweeter it's not so burnt i know i'm talking in circles but there i'm really trying to express that it's yummy it's delicious it is just the perfect perfect cake buttery burnt sugar deliciousness. I, I would buy this in a large bar or even a loaf. This is good. And, and this is a house blend. This is a new one. And I hope this one comes back. Definitely. Uh, Dessa's, I have some more of Dessa's here. Let me just finish talking about, I think, um, one more here. Yep. Okay. Spoonful of sugar. This is from her um, Main Street Memories or her Disney-inspired collection. This is uh, lemon sugar cookie, waffle cone, vanilla ice cream, and crushed lemon candies. This, to me, is lemon candy. This is like lemon heads. Uh, you know, the sour candy. This is, this is not as lemon bakery as Lemonlicious or some of her lemon cream, like a lemon cream cookie. This is good, don't get me wrong, but this is more of a sour lemon or a candy lemon than bakery lemon. So if you're looking for that, try a spoonful of sugar if you like that candy lemon. And the final one from Dessa's, this was a, a custom of mine from last summer. This is Georgia peach and sweet cornbread pudding. There's a little bit of a story behind this one. And that is... This is 150,000% Georgia peach. There is not one lick of cornbread in here because of all the peach wax I've smelled out there in the wax world, including retail Walmart wax and Target and all that stuff. This is the best, the best peach that I have smelled. Close second is um, peach nectar from L3. But this Georgia peach is authentic. It is really like you're biting into a peach and you break the skin with your teeth and the juice just runs all over. It's peach month here in Utah. I am so excited. I love stone fruits. Peaches are my favorite. I'm so excited to actually get some peaches uh, in my home. But this here is fantastic, strong, authentic peach. My husband, every time I melted this, this was one of her little Build-A-Bars. I think these are like $7.95, $8, $8 or something like that. Um, every time I melted this, 
my husband commented on it that I really, really, really like that. Like multiple times in the same warming session, he would comment on this. So I know everything Dessa offers that has this Georgia peach in there, I'm going to buy. Um, I have one coming from this last pre-order. I think it's peach uh, gelato cone. I don't think it's quite the Georgia peach oil, but I have talked to Dessa about this one and I said, you know, your Georgia peach, I have to, you know, have to turn it off after a little while because it gives me a headache. And she says when she pours Georgia peach, her house smells like it for days and it's a strong one. So if you like strong peach, give this one a try. You could mix peach. I mean, peach blends with, with, with a lot of things. Bakery, you could mix it with other fruits. You could mix it with Palo Santo probably and it would be fantastic. Um, it's, but just know that her peach is going to dominate, definitely dominate, unless you tell her to put the idiot's babyest amount in there. Um, it's going to be just a peach blend. So, uh, oh, and Dessa's, um, Dessa's, it did, this is a year old. This was July of 22. And of course, how strong that oil is, but there have been some scents that I've used of Dessa's that are a little bit older, that are a little bit less potent. So I think it just all boils down to the oil and uh, what um, it's blended with or how it's blended or all of that stuff. But Dessa's does have a pretty good, decent shelf life, in my opinion. Okay, lots more to go here and we're at 30 minutes long video here. Let's talk about teddy bees. Teddy bees, my order will be here on Friday. It's supposed to be here on Friday. It's coming UPS, it's 13 pounds. Holy Jesus, 13 pounds of <laughs> teddy bees. This is my largest in terms of heaviness of the box order to date of teddy bees. So I am so, so excited to film that video this weekend. And I uh, know a lot of you guys anticipate watching teddy bees videos. <sighs> it's going to be a good one. I love teddy bees. So I am working on a lot of teddy bees stuff right now in my collection. A lot of my blends uh, that I have a little bit left of are going to be in my August wax goals video. So this is Pink Zucchini Cake Pops. I have two of these. Well, one now because I finished this one up. This is Zucchini Bread, Vanilla Cake Pops, Strawberry Cake, and Pink Sugar Frosting. Uh, Tiffany, uh, owned by Tiffany Smith from Dallas? Somewhere in Texas. Houston? Maybe Houston. Houston. Maybe. Texas. Texas. She's from Texas. Um, established in 2018. Yes. So five years this year. Good for her. Congratulations, Tiffany. Um, her zucchini bread oil is not spicy. It's creamy. It is a little bit different than other zucchini bread oils out there. I love and am addicted to zucchini bread. I will try any zucchini bread blend. Tiffany's oil, her zucchini bread oil, like I said, is different. It some people get Fritos, stinky feet, all of those things from zucchini bread. But I think a lot of people who don't like zucchini bread can handle some of Tiffany's zucchini bread blends. So with that being said, this is creamy strawberry. This is like, um, it's similar to Strawberry Lover's Dream, which is another Teddy Bee's blend. Although that is heavier in the buttercream and the frosting and the richness, whereas this is more cake and vanilla uh, strawberry frosting. But I like this a lot. I finished melting this, um, finished melting this on, let's see, today's Wednesday. I finished melting this on Saturday. And I just, I love strawberry. I love zucchini bread and it was a no brainer that I tried this. So this is, I think this was a new blend. I This is a um, 10, 30, 22. So this was last fall's um, pre-order. This, um, this one was, I think this was new last year, honestly, I think it was, but if you like, you know, we have to vote blends back to be offered in the pre-orders and all that stuff. And everybody and our mother loves Teddy bees. It seems like, so if you were interested in that one, you know, let's vote it up, you know. I've, I think it's been a minute since I posted in the, no, did I post in the Teddy Bees group? I posted yesterday about how excited I am to get my shipping notification from Teddy Bees. But uh, in terms of uh, blend, I don't think I've posted in there for a week or so. 
Oh, I have another Dessus here. I'm sorry. This is from her advent calendar last year. This is Country Christmas. This is apples, oranges, cinnamons, and clove. Cinnamon and cloves. This one was, see that truck right there? This was the shape that was in the bag. This was the Christmas Day's blend. And I saved it because I didn't want to melt the truck. But I've melted the truck now. Um, I was looking for a little bit of... I've been, if you watch me, I'm stretching my legs out here. If you watch me, I've been melting fall and dipping my toe into the fall pool, per se, of, uh, you all know I have plenty of fall wax in my collection. If you watch my collection, my entire fall collection video last year that I did, I'm not going to do another one this year because, <laughs> frankly, it's a lot of work. I really enjoyed doing the fall one, though. If I do any collection video, it's going to be my Bath & Body Works candles over here in this closet. I have probably three to four hundred. I know. Three to four hundred of them. I'm trying to use them, but my candle crock had a waxident, a fatal waxident, so it, he had to go in the garbage. That's another story. So I have been melting fall, been melting around fall, and I wanted to melt some winter. And I grabbed this one out of my I said, Why am I why am I hoarding that truck? I mean it's <laughs> it's a truck. I've plenty of truck decor in my in my holiday um decorations so I melted it and it is it is quintessential Christmas it's a little bit of spice it's potpourri almost it has cinnamon apples oranges pine it's all those winter blends wrapped up into one fantastic blend so I really like this one if country Christmas is available on the pre-order the next pre-order that Dessa offers give it a try if you like that um smells like Christmas smell so Let's get going here. Have another sassy girl. I have a couple more sassy girls here. Let's try to keep this somewhat organized vendor-wise. Okay. Sassy girl, Magical Lake. This is the scent that is in Disney World or a lot of the Disney, Disney, the Disney World resorts in Florida, the Orlando and of course, this is probably in California. I've never been to Disneyland. I've been to the mother one, the, the mothership, I call it, Disney World. I've been there twice. I really honestly have no interest in going to Disneyland. If I get to go to Disneyland, great. I'm not going to complain. But I've been to Disney World. So I, and my husband hasn't. He's been to Disneyland. I've been to Disney World. And, you know, probably because we live on different ends of the country. And it was just logistically right that I go to Disney World. But this is the scent that I know is in, um, which, which one is, it, it's just in a lot of the, Dessa has this one too. It's in just a lot of the generic resorts, I guess, that are in Disney World. I mean, I know some, there are some ones that have their own scent, like Polynesian has one and, and, um, probably some of the other ones. I don't remember all of them now, guys. The last time I was at Disney World, well, what was when I was in high school and I've been out of high school for 21 years now, so um, my brain and memory is a little good, but not that good to remember what each individual place smells like. Vegas, Vegas, I can attest to those because my memory is much more fresh because I was in Vegas a couple of years ago. So, um, anyways, I'll quit yapping. Magical Lake. This is a luxurious blend of dewy green clover leaf, green daisy, and natural woods complemented by refreshing aloe leaf and lemon verbena. So very fresh, very calming, very green. You have to like green. Sorry, my eye is bothering me here. You have to like greenery. You have to like watery, fresh. This is similar, similar to Banshee Flight from Sassy Girl. Banshee Flight, of course, is a little bit more rich in the greens. This is a more watery, light, ivy like green whereas banshee flight is richer i would say clover even though there's a little bit of clover in here there is aloe which is watery and this is just this has a different it's spa like it's refreshing it's relaxing it's light it's not a heavy thrower it's a it's a mild to medium throw even in Dessa's, I think hers is called resort magic even in Dessa's uh version it's light and it's a light to medium throw. But I like this. This is a one and done for me just because I 
really have found other ones of the resort blends I like, but I have probably 75% of the resort oils that Julie has offered in the last year or so. Um, there are ones that she adds all the time and I'm just trying to taper down how much I buy from Sassy Girl, but I do have a mess of ones I'm working on right now. So, um, and I do have another Sassy Girl video to film. I got some bakery ones. Um, I know bad Ashley, but this is ice cream scoop bread at the IHOP. Now, IHOP is one of my favorite of all vendors out there in the wax world. One of my favorite coffee blends ever. It's coffee, but it's more than coffee. Now, ice cream scoop bread is vanilla ice cream. It's buttercream, vanilla ice cream, crushed almonds, and chocolate cookie dough. That's ice cream scoop bread. Now, IHOP is pumpkin pecan waffles, maple syrup and brown sugar, caramel and coffee. It is pumpkin pecan waffles mixed with coffee, caramel and a little bit of maple. It lasts forever, so, so good. I've had probably six or seven brittles of it in my, in my wax journey of two and a half years. I love IHOP. I recommend IHOP for those of you who are new or, you know, you're trying to dip your toe into trying coffee, give IHOP a try. If you don't like, if it's too coffee for you, put some bakery in with it. Tone that baby down. You can put bakery in anything, basically. Um, you can put Palo Santo in, in IHOP. I know Palo Santo is universally loved by a lot of people out there. You can put blackberry in IHOP, blueberry. I mean, all of those fruits are going to go well in accent because pumpkin pecan waffles, of course, mixes with everything. You can put salty Sierra in it. Pumpkin pecan waffles and salty Sierra is great too. Um, this one, I really liked this because it was basically just IHOP. I didn't get too much of the ice cream scoop bread with this, but that's okay. I'm not complaining. I love IHOP. And my last Sassy Girl one I worked on was Santos Royale. This is Palo Santo Sugar Cookie and Sugar Cookie Royale and Toasted Marshmallow. Now, you might say, hey, that's today is October 3rd from L3. Yes, it is. Except, except Julie's version is a little bit richer. It's a little bit heavier on the Palo Santo to my nose. It's richer. And you'd have to melt these side by side to see what I'm talking about. Yes, the Palo Santo is strong in today is October 3rd from L3. But the, I think Julie's oil is a little bit richer. T to my opinion, to my nose, I might be nuts. I mean, I'm nuts <laughs> about a lot of things in life. But pal this one does smell richer to me. The Sugar Cookie Royale is sweeter and it's a little bit, a little bit more dominant uh, in the L3 version than the Sassy Girl Aroma version. I hope that's making sense. Uh, if you like Palo Santo, give this one a try. It will blend with everything too. Today is October 3rd from L3. Uh, can and has been blended with just about everything out there. Okay, um, I have Harper James. Harper James is owned by Mary Griffin. I don't remember where she's from. What state? I'm sorry. Um, I've only ordered from her twice. I have a small order on the bed that I've had for about two and a half weeks that <laughs> I haven't filmed. Um, but I've only bought from Mary twice. Uh, this first, this was on my first order. This is Brooks and Ivy. This is Morning Dew, Forest Fern, and Fresh Cut Grass. If you watch me, you know I love fresh cut grass. I love my earthy, my herbal, my haze, all that stuff. I love hay. My dad just finished cutting the second cutting of the season back in Pennsylvania, and he told me he has more round bells than he will ever need <laughs> this season. So him and his farmer buddies will divvy it up and, you know, uh, move it on out of their farms. So anyways, uh, bricks and ivy, why I tried this is because I wanted that fresh green, another grass scent. And this is very... I'll repeat myself, very green, very grass, very fresh. This will blend beautifully, beautifully with other, with floral, if you're a floral fan. Grass blends beautifully with floral. Grass blends beautifully with fruit. Strawberry and grass, strawberry, grass, tobacco and grass. 
all of those ones, Palo Santo and Grass, you know, you just got to get, you have to get experimental with some of these blends because if you think about it from a vendor point of view, um, they're thinking about blends all the time and mixing this and trying this. And there's a lot of trial and error. We've got to be like that in our homes too. I am always an advocate for you guys to try to blend and enjoy the most that you can out of wax because life is short. We need to enjoy what we have and be your own, you know, little wax creator or be your own little vendor, I say. Um, and I know there's been several of you reach out to me for blend ideas and Tam, yes, I am still working on vanilla balsam. I haven't forgotten. Um, just, you know, if you don't like it, take it out of your warmer, get rid of it, never do it again. You got to try, you know, and, and I will, I will say Tam, Tam Carr is my friend, my good wax friend. And I am so proud of her for getting out of her bakery box and expanding into trying pines and to trying um, other things that she never thought she would like. She's really seeing how beautiful scent can be and how many blends out there that really makes her happy. So congratulations, Tam. I'm proud of you. I know I tease you and I say you're all grown up. Your nose is all grown up. But uh, I and and that's another reason why I'm I met, I met Tam through my channel here, and then of course, you know, we are moderators together in the L3 group, but uh, I love to meet people and build beautiful uh, friendships with all you wonderful, wonderful, um, I, I want to say ladies, but I know there's a few guys that view my channel too. Uh, I just, I love talking wax. Wax is a part of my daily life, and this is my... This is my me time. I do my channel to connect with all of you and to talk to all of you, even though I'm bad with coming back on, on my channel, but I'm getting, I'm getting better. I'm working on, that's one thing I'm working on in my therapy with everything else I'm working on in my life. I'm trying to be more attentive and in the moment and responding back and being interactive, even though, you know, I do have plans to do another mental health video here soon. I'm just waiting for a couple more things to happen so I can talk about those experiences uh, in my next mental health video. So if you are one that have watched those ones on my channel, uh, you know, they're, they're pretty, they're pretty emotional. They're hard to do for me, but mental health is such a big part of our lives. And I know my life, my entire life, since I was a little, 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 little kid, I have been a mental health patient. And I'm not afraid to break the cycle. I'm not afraid to break that um, that stigma that is attached to it. I'm not afraid of that. I There was a time in my life where I would never be able to say those words out loud, let alone on a public forum like this. But I have reached that level of comfort in my skin. And it's it's very, very liberating. I should say. So anyways, congratulations to Tam for her grown up nose and bricks and ivy is one of those scents. Try, you know, how do you know unless you try? So spiel over on that. Okay. Next vendor, newer to me vendor. Vendor is retiring <laughs> in the fall. If you know who I'm talking about, it is Carol. Carol Walsencroft from Candles from the Keeping Room from, uh, Scranton area in Pennsylvania. Another Pennsylvania girl. Pennsylvania girl, Erica Kane, second and Spruce, and now Carol. And there's another Pennsylvania vendor, I think, but I don't remember. I don't remember right now. But let's get talking about candles from the keeping room. We're at 47 minutes. Okay. Candles from the keeping room. Carol has been in business for over two decades. She's getting ready to retire to spend more time with her husband and her grandkids and um, her garden and all those wonderful things. And her and Donna are working on um, pouring requests and getting rid of their oils and trying to make this next ready to ship in September, October, somewhere around there the best one yet. So I have been using, um, I do have a video on my channel if you haven't watched it, um, if you're interested in it, the candles from the keeping room haul that I, I did about a week ago. I have been using samples. One thing that Carol is well known for and cherished about in the wax community is her immense amount of samples that she gives us in our orders, a craft bag full of samples. And to make it even more personal, Carol goes through and looks at your order and gives you samples based on your order to 
you know, even give you an extra thank you. Please, here, give you more bakery. You like bakery, all your samples are going to be bakery. You like fresh, all your samples are going to be fresh, and so on and so forth. I love that attention to detail. I love that personal touch. That just means so much to me, and I know it goes a long way with a lot of you, too. So this first one is cranberry, orange cranberry muffin. Now, this is funny. I've been talking to... Um, Christy Hartshorn and Jenny Gilmore a lot lately, uh, another two wax, wax girlfriends of mine, uh, about cranberry orange muffin oil, specifically L3s, but in general. And, you know, I've said of all the wax I've had, I've never had cranberry, cranberry orange muffin in my life. And then guess Miss Carol gave me a sample of this. I have been putting these, these are nice size samples. I've been putting them in my tea light warmer in my spare bathroom. So I don't have to cut these. Some of the larger shapes, I'm going to cut those in half and see how they work. I know I see a lot of you in um, Candles from the Keeping Room group don't cut the pieces of wax, but I'm going to try it out and see how it works for me. But for intents and purposes of just the sample, I'm not cutting them. So cranberry orange muffin this was nice it's buttery batter with orange and cranberry it's fantastic it's delicious i want more this is a good oil i'm actually working on my l3 customs list right now i'm going to be caught up in the next you know three weeks to a month we'll see uh do i need more no but i can't pass up customs and <laughs> Uh, I'm going to put orange cranberry muffin on my customs list. So this is fantastic. I should go in and request that in the in Carol's group for, you know, one more pour if she can. Next is Tiffany's Wildberry Mousse Cupcakes. I love Wildberry Mousse. Wildberry Mousse is creamy, berry, deliciousness, lasts a million years. It's throw is fantastic. This, of course, is blended with Cupcakes at Tiffany's, which I'm not that big of a fan of alone. I do like it in some blends. Um, this is fantastic. This is basically Wild Berry Mousse Cupcakes with, you know, the bakery part of it. Love this. Love this. Next is Mr. Bear in the Zucchini Patch. Mr. Bear in the Zucchini Patch. This is Bear Claws and Zucchini Bread. No brainer. Delicious, syrupy, wonderful, sweet pecans, whatever the hell you want to put in it. Raisins, dates, that that bear claw. This is fantastic. I am, I don't want to say, uh, I mean, I'll use Jenny Gilmore's term, a uh, hoe. I'm a strawberry hoe, a zucchini bread hoe. I am a strawberry hoe. I'm <laughs> a bear claw hoe, all of that stuff. Um, this is delicious fantastic i have a good bit of uh, mr bear blends and you know i love zucchini bread next this is white cake i think i got this i didn't get this in um and i don't think i got mr bear and i i got this in a couple of um d stashes and random acts of kindness so uh this white cake is just plain white cake and it was okay to me i'm not really in love with white cake alone but i wanted to melt this just to really see what carol's white cake oil is about it wasn't bad this however i've got to i've got to remember to go into the group and request this this is peanut butter raisin cookies o m g i talked about raisin cookies in my candles from the keeping video from the keeping room video and how much they meant to my mom because her grandmother would make them growing up and it's just an old-fashioned cookie and one of the local bakeries here actually sell them but this is peanut butter authentic yummy peanut butter peanut butter is tough in fragrance oil because there are some peanut butter oils out there and i will say i hate l3's peanut butter oil compared to kirby from vintage chic scents peanut butter oil and even carol's l3's is artificial and i hate saying that because you know how much i love l3 but they're not all going to be winners and we're allowed to not like something but this is yummy creamy authentic peanut butter mixed with a little bit of bakery from the cookie and a little bit of sweetness from raisin i love raisins but i'm an old soul if you can't tell from talking you know us communicating and listening to me i'm an old soul i was raised by baby boomers so i grew up loving the old stuff i love old people i love jerry the geriatrics i should say majority of my family on both sides um even well i'm not counting my in-laws of course because i do have sister and brother-in-laws that are within you know 
10 to 15 years my age. I'm the baby all around. I was born, <laughs> I was born last on both sides of my family um, in terms of the generations, you know, and I was raised around older people. I like the older stuff. I am a baby. I think like a baby boomer. I have the work ethic of a baby boomer. I am my dad's daughter in that way. And um, I love this. This this is homage to my to my mom and her sisters, baked goods, all that stuff. I am just I'm I'm feeling sentimental today. You know, talking about about some things. My my aunt who was like a second mother to me was recently in the hospital for a week. Just found out on Sunday, and uh, she's 83. She had a couple of things happen, and it just um, uh, you know reality hits you in the face sometimes when you're least expecting it. So. Um, this reminds me of my family, honestly. So, okay, the rest of this stuff is L3. You know I have a lot of L3 that I use in my... I have a lot of L3, and I use a lot of L3. So, here we go. 54 minutes. It's going to be a longer one. Tam, this is for you. Wildberry mousse, sugar cookie dough, zucchini bread. Christy, too, if you, I don't know if Christy watches YouTube, but we all love the hell out of this blend. This is delicious, fantastic, long lasting, uh, creamy, berry, berry y, <laughs> zucchini bready, spicy, yummy, fattening, all of those things. This is loaf worthy. This is, I have this in scoops. It's definitely scoop worthy. I have this in my bathroom right now in scoop form. I have it with sweet cream, actually. I love sweet cream mixed in things. It gives a little richness to it. But this very well, very well might end up on my custom list because it's that damn good. If you haven't tried wild berry mousse, it's creamy berry, deliciousness, all the adjectives I said before, this is fantastic. Yes. Ain't that a birch? Got a hair in my mouth. Ain't that a birch? Um, <laughs> this was actually a customer creation contest winner of mine from this past spring's L3 customer creation contest uh, challenge or, you know, contest, I should say. This is vanilla birch, cedar, marshmallow fireside, and a hint of wood smoke. I love cedar. Cedar is my favorite wood of all of the woods out there that we can melt. Cedar, pine, um, Palo Santo is a wood, oud, O-U-D, and all the other ones I'm thinking of that I am, can't remember right now. I love cedar. Cedar mixed with vanilla takes it up a notch, kind of out of that tree air freshener, uh, men's bathroom air fresher department. I've only been in the men's bathroom once in my life. I'm just imagining. <laughs> you know, the men's bathroom is like a foreign, it's a foreign uh, land to us ladies, kind of like the ladies room is a foreign place to men. You know what I mean? Um, kind of like, I think that starts in school, you know, when they separate uh, you into, into, you know, you go into this room, you go into this room, bathroom situations. You know what I mean. Um, I wanted to create this with a little bit of sweetness and smokiness with the marshmallow fireside. And I really wanted to make a cedar blend that could be used versus a really versatile blend that can be treated like Palo Santo. So I bought two of these. And the first one I melted this downstairs in my kitchen open concept. The next one, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to cut up. This was a breakaway bar. I'm going to cut these into pieces of two. So I can, there's seven in here. I can get 14 melts out of this. And I'm going to just experiment with this and blend it and see if this can be as versatile as Palo Santo is. Do I think it can be mixed with as many bakeries as Palo can? Probably not. But this would be beautiful with Riverstone. Riverstone, if you've never had Riverstone and sea minerals, I know Jenny and Christy make fun of me because I like sea minerals. I have, see, that's the problem with me. And I think why a lot of you watch my channel is I have a little bit of everything that I like. I talk about fruity. I talk about bakery. I talk about perfumes, about florals, about woods. I love it all. That's why I'm dr drowning in wax over here. I, <laughs> I like it all. It's, I, I, I very few that I don't like, but it, I am so passionate about home fragrance. I'm so passionate about wax. If you can't tell that, then I really am not doing my job in portraying my passion to you. I really, 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 really love talking about this stuff. I really do. I mean, I'm a dork and I'm not afraid to say it. I, I love it. Um, 
this that's what I have plans to do with my other ain't that a birch so I like that one Next, this is Camping by the River. This is Riverstone, Dirt, Grass, and a Hint of Wood Smoke. I think this was Charity's Blend. Uh, this, honestly, was Riverstone to me. I didn't get too much grass. I didn't get dirt. I didn't get wood smoke. I got Riverstone. But Riverstone, Riverstone reminds me of my dad's house, honestly. It reminds me of the little brook or stream that flows through his farm, um, where I spent many, 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 many hours with my dog growing up. Uh, that reminds me of my dad's house. And it's it was a good blend. I really like that one. This is another hair in my mouth. Today is October 3rd, toasted coffee. This is actually roasted coffee. <laughs> it says toasted coffee, but it's roasted coffee. Um, this was basically just roasted coffee. I didn't get too much today as October 3rd, but that's because roasted coffee is a strong oil. And you, if you really like coffee, roasted coffee is probably the strongest and um, most bitter of all the coffee oils that are out there from L3. The sweetest is Cafe Cubano, you know, which is uh, Cuban coffee, coffee and brown sugar. And my favorite personally is coffee bean because it's just like opening up a bag of coffee beans and smelling it. Whereas coffee house has a little bit more chocolate in it, but chocolate and coffee accent each other very, very well. Um, this I would not buy again. This was part of the coffee sampler from L3 a few times ago. Um, I, I, I wanted a little bit more. I should have blended this, but this was just a bunt and I didn't have a lot of, of that. Okay. Watermelon sugar high. This was a two pack bunt. This is smells like strawberries on a summer evening and watermelon sponge sugar. So this one, I love watermelon too. Watermelon is, I've melted a lot of watermelon in this joint this summer. I love watermelon. This the critique I have with this one is after about 45 minutes, it gets weird. It got plasticky to me. And I don't know if it's just a combination of whatever strawberry oil she used and the watermelon oil, but it, it really, it smelt like plastic. Sweet sugar plastic. Very, very weird. But I melted this whole thing because I love watermelon. I put this in with a little bit of Grassy Pants, which is another one of my favorite blends from L3. Um, of course, that's watermelon to the max. So this one I wasn't complaining too much about. But individually, this is sweet plastic. Sweet plastic. <laughs> okay, next we have Cucumber Limeade. Jen actually sent me this to try in my last order because I, um, you know, commented, I love cucumber. A cucumber is another one I love. Oh, I'm working on a couple cucumber blends too. Um, I just have to decide which one I want because I'm not going to get... I'm not going to get two cucumber blends, but cucumber is relaxing. It's spa-like. It's refreshing. It's creamy. Cucumber blended with mint is out of this world. So cucumber limeade. The test with lime in my home is if, my, if Marty, my husband, can tolerate it. Marty thinks most limes, especially lime bakery, smells like vomit. It just is what it is. And... Just like a lot of you guys might think zucchini bread smells like feet. I don't feel that way. I don't smell that. But I understand it. And limeade is, you know, like lemonade, except it was made with lime. My husband loves limeade to drink. He just doesn't like lime bakery to melt in the home. Understandable. I got it. So I melted this, and I didn't tell him what was in the warmer. He liked it. He didn't tell me it stunk or it made him nauseous or anything like that. So this is good. My only critique of this is it doesn't last very long. It is probably a, a, a three hour, at the three hour mark, it's petered out pretty much um, to where you can't really smell it anymore. In my experience and in my home. But that's just the nature of cucumber. Like cucumber isn't lemon. Cucumber isn't you know, pine. It's not going to last for a long, long time. But I'm glad and very grateful that Jen sent me this so I could try it. And it's it's refreshing. It really is. This could go good blended with watermelon, of course. You could do blueberry, raspberry, strawberry, any of those things with this. Um, in terms of shelf life, 
I have heard, I forgot to comment on Carol's um, Candles from the Keeping Room. I have heard her wax lasts for years. And L3, her stuff lasts a long time too. Yeah, you don't have to really worry about shelf life with too much with L3. Um, Lemony Strawberry Snicket. This is Mr. J. Alford's creation and winner from this past spring's uh, customer creation contest. This is lemon pound cake, strawberry pound cake, lemon curd, and fresh picked strawberries. Now, for a man who does not like cake or bakery, this is lemon curd heavy, so it cuts that cake out of the lemon pound cake and the strawberry pound cake. And I have told him many times, and I've even talked about this in the group recently, that this is a great strawberry semi mini bakery i would call it a mini bakery scent because the lemon curd lemon curd is not identified as a bakery oil but it plays well with a lot of bakery scents but lemon curd is heavy and it dominates so if you want to try this one you know request it next ready to ship i think will be friday maybe not maybe next friday i know b bars are coming this friday and a couple of other things i think it's a mini pop-up this friday and next week will be an, another a larger restock unless the pre-orders next week i don't know i haven't talked to them um to see when the pre-order is coming uh, usually they leave their pre-order open for a week and that time the ready to ship or the sale doesn't happen that week so anyways if you want this one to come back request it you know jen and trish are amazing at pouring our creations and giving us what we want. You know, I think everybody can attest to that. Ozark. I have two of these. Ozark. This was another winner. I don't remember who created this, but whoever created this has commented on my channel in the past. But I want to say I owe you a drink. This is fantastic. Bravo. Bravo on your use of grass. This is Bonsai. Fresh cut grass. Dirt sea salt and blue spruce a little bit of tree a little bit of grass a little bit of salt a little bit of bonsai bonsai is fresh green heavy it's it's refreshing it's good for a bathroom you know it's it's a it's a fresh scent i know i am strange in that i will melt bakery in my bathroom i don't care it's all the same to me bathroom kitchen office it's the same to me but this i um used I didn't mean to use both of these at the same time but I had one up and one down so <laughs> it worked out well so this here is fresh cut grass heavy but it's got bonsai in it so it adds a little bit more of a different green punch than the grass and I love the sea salt sea salt is such a good oil it's a little bit aquatic not as salty at all like a salty sea air it's right in the middle of spa and salty sea air it's beautiful it's kind of in the family of riverstone but it's got a little bit more salt in it so this was great blend great blend coming down to the end here pecan pie pumpkin pecan waffles sugar cookie royale this is one of my favorite pumpkin pecan waffle blends out there love pecan pie there's pecans and pumpkin pecan waffles of course and sugar cookie royale goes with everything um this is creamy it's satisfying this can be blended with anything and everything and it's gonna be good this was a little bat from the halloween shapes from last fall and some samples here we have Emerald City. Emerald City is, is I think it's green apple and pretzel and a couple of other things. This was a little sample that I had. I liked it. It is a pretzel blend. So if you like pretzel and apples and a little bit of syrupy, uh, give Emerald City a try. I, I want There's some sort of bakery in there, but I don't remember honestly what oil it is, but it's apple. Once Upon a Dream. I'm not sure what the notes are of this. This was a sample that I recently got, and I, I think it's melon. It's melon of some sort, whether it's honeydew or cantaloupe, but it's melon in something. And this, I melted this at bedtime. It was relaxing. It was refreshing. It was perfect. It's not a crazy strong thrower. It's uh, mild to moderate. If you hear kids, they're screaming outside playing in the yard, so <laughs> in, the, in the street in the front, you know, the sidewalk. Um, I don't know how much sound picks up. Um, usually it's my husband's television blaring in the in the background, but he's he's in his man cave right now. So this is melon deliciousness. 
Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, Strawberry Pound Cake, Sugar Cookie Royale. This is a tried and true phenomenal classic. Um, L3 Strawberry Pound Cake is a custom oil that's made just for them. It's not a one single oil or, um, you know, from a manufacturer. It's specifically made for them. So it's going to be a little bit different. My take on L3 Strawberry Pound Cake is I actually like it more than I do other. Strawberry Pound Cake is like cupcake, cupcakes at Tiffany's for me. I don't like it alone. I think it's light. I would rather have a little bit more strawberry with the bakery. And guess what? That's what L3s is like to me. It's it's customized to be a little bit heavier in the strawberry and a little bit more cake than the Bath and Body Works version. Love this. Love this. Sweet Lavender, Sweet on Paris, and Let Them Eat Cake. This is a sweet blend. Sweet on Paris, of course, is so well loved and popular. There's raspberry in it and a lot of other fruits, and I don't remember which ones they are right now. Let them eat cake is a perfume. It's a pretty, it's a pretty perfume, feminine perfume. And sweet lavender, of course, is sweet lavender, not herbal. And finally, my last, I saved my favorite L3 blend for last. This is Gimme All the Carbs. I posted this in the L3 group. If you want a fresh baked bread blend that punches you in the face, this is what you want right here. This is fresh baked bread, zucchini bread, cinnamon sugar, and pretzel. I have two of these. Well, one now that this one is used. This is fresh baked bread. It's got the perfect amount of cinnamon sugar. I do not like cinnamon sugar alone. I do like it a little bit in bakery. I think putting cinnamon sugar with pine and other things it gets a little weird i prefer a regular cinnamon if i'm going to be doing something that's christmasy or something more earthy cinnamon sugar in this is perfect a little bit of pretzel a little bit of saltiness a little bit of yeasty not much the fresh baked bread is dominant in here the zucchini bread is in here too you get a little bit of the creaminess and a little bit of the spiciness from the zucchini bread but this all blends seamlessly and if you created this blend and if you're watching this, I owe you a round of drinks. I really do. And bravo. So that is the last three weeks, roughly, of my empties. I am going to be doing another empties video as soon as I have enough to make a video here in August. So thanks, everyone, for watching. If you watched my whole entire video, um, this one was a little bit more animated than usual. Um, but I hope you all have a great week, a great weekend ahead. Happy August. Happy school. Happy last vacations of the summer and all those things. So thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you soon.